Hi, I'm Jens. I'm a program manager on Power Apps Customer Advisory Team. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use our ALM Accelerator administration app to set up and configure a project in Azure DevOps to be used with ALM Accelerator. So from the projects page in our ALM Accelerator admin app, we can connect to an Azure DevOps organization. And once connected, we can use the project wizard to set up a, a new project to be used with the ALM Accelerator. So this experience here will create everything needed for the project to be used with our ALM Accelerator Canvas app and for makers to uh, commit and deploy solutions via that project. First thing is uh, project name and good to give a good description so that we remember what the project is used for and we click next. And this will then create a new empty project in Azure DevOps. <clears throat> so once the project is created, we need to configure the pipeline templates and we can either install the templates directly into our project in a COE ALM Accelerator templates repository that will be created, or we can also point to an existing project in our Azure DevOps org and use templates already installed there. In this example here, we will install into a new uh, repository in the project. And now the next step would be to set up the service connection so that the ALM Accelerator and Azure DevOps know how to connect to our uh, environments and do the commits and deploys. Um, and to do so, we will need the information from our um, app registration that was created in Azure AD and put that information in here. And once we've done that, we need to decide whether we want to share this, uh, these service connections with all pipelines or not. So if we do not share with all pipelines, we need to manually uh, authorize the pipelines to use the service connections. And we can either do that in ADO after having created the project, or we can do that on the first run of each pipeline that we create. Uh, if the pipeline is not uh, authorized to use a service connection, there will be a prompt in the pipeline run that asks for authorization. In this example here, we will share the service connections that we create with all pipelines in our project. <clears throat> so clicking Add will queue up the service connections to be created, and clicking Next will start creating those service connections in our project, Nasha DevOps. The last step is to create what we call the generic pipeline. So the generic pipelines are the export, import, and delete pipelines. <clears throat> and then they are used generically independent of what solutions you are exporting or uh, uh, deploying. Um, this step here will also uh, set required permissions and create the variable group uh, also required for ALM. And once that's done, the project has been created, and uh, we can see that our repository pipelines are created. Um, we have the variable group, and we can start adding our uh, colleagues or the makers to uh, the team so that they can start commit and deploy to the project. Mm -hmm.